incredible news all over the newspapers this week is that King Henry VIII has been spotted with a Greg steak bake pasty and indeed is a time traveller. I'm going to delve deeper into this story and my findings may shock you that time travel could actually be possible and I'm going to explain how. The painting in question was a portrait of King Henry by Hans Holbein where he was seen to be wearing steak baked shoes which is mind blowing. The painting in question was painted in 1536 and was mysteriously destroyed in a fire. This in itself could be a zero knowledge proof that time travel police are trying to get rid of the evidence. And while steak baked shoes may sound utterly ridiculous, Greg's already have a range of clothing on sale in a major fashion retailer and they even sell shoes and slippers. Now imagine you're a time traveller from the future. It's quite plausible that you'd want to visit famous people from the past and King Henry VIII was the most famous of the British monarchs. Famous from his split with the Catholic Church and for his six wives, two of which he executed and chopped off their heads. Young Henry VIII was an athletic sporting young man who took part in many sporting activities such as hunting. But older Henry was fat and round. Could this be when he had discovered his liking for the steak baked slice? The second law of thermodynamics states that entropy always increases over time which put simply means that you can't unscramble an egg. And this is why most scientists believe that it is not possible to travel back into the past, but that it may be possible to travel into the future using the theory of relativity. Time traveller. Time travel into the future is possible. But I'm going to explain how time travel into the past may indeed be possible. Well, the argument for the simulation, I think, is quite strong because if you assume any improvement at all over time, any improvement, 1%, 0.1%, just extend the time frame, make it a thousand years, a million years, the universe is 13.8 billion years old. What would civilization, if you counted, if you're very generous, civilization is maybe seven or 8,000 years old, if you counted from the first writing. This is nothing. This is nothing. Um, so, if you assume any rate of improvement at all, then games will be indistinguishable from reality. If indeed we are living in a simulated reality, it would be very easy for the person running the simulation to hit the pause button and insert Greg's pasties into Henry's timeline. The last piece of evidence I need to show you is this previously unreleased picture of Henry eating a cheese and onion pasty, not steak bake. 